Hello everyone, today let's discuss the dye lubricant in the dye casting process. The lubricant play a crucial role in ensuring smooth and efficient operation and their basic requirement and paramount for successful dye casting. So we have to keep in mind and we have to take care during the processes all this parameter when we are going to select dye lubrication or we are running dye lubrication on shop floor so these are the point point which uh, we have to take care so first is high release factor the primary objective of any dye lubricant is to establish a robust film between the dye and metal this film ensure a high release factor facilitating easy separation of the casting form from the dye the second point is prevention of soldering. It's a very key challenge in die casting, all we know, particularly with aluminium, is soldering. The undesired sticking of the metal to the die and effective lubrication prevents this issue. Ensuring a clean and smooth separation without any undesirable attachment. Third point is which we take care or we uh, should uh, find out in our dye lubrication no porosity in casting so dye lubricant often containing a specialized ingredient like dye coat contribute to uh, preventing porosity in the casting this is a vital maintaining the structural integrity of the final casting the fourth point which we have to take care is no stain and good internal structure the lubricant must not leave stain on the casting surfaces. Additionally, they should contribute to a good internal structure, ensuring the quality of the final product. Now let's explore the uh, three main type of uh, dye lubricants. So first is oil-based lubrication. So all we know this uh, this is a traditional method involve a mixture of oil and graphite powder while effective it requires skillful application skilled operator to avoid staining and porosity issues nowadays nowadays it's uh, mainly used for plunger lubrication and uh, sliding surface in non casting areas <coughs> the second type of lubrication water based lubrication the most commonly used type water polymer dye coat when sprayed on a hot dye surface form a tough film that act as a barrier between the dye face and metal this is known as a leaden frost effect the third type of lubrication is wax granule for plunger lubrication a recent development so you can say this method involves a charging a small amount of wax granules into a sleeve which vaporized due to the heat of uh, the short sleeve it form a robust film between the sleeve and plunger tip offering a excellent plunger life with no mess or gas in the casting in gravity die casting dye lubrication dye lubricant serve a different purpose uh, they act as a insulator to retain heat in the dye chalk powder in sodium silicate when diluted in water and sprayed on the hot dye forms a tough film white film you can say that facilitate directional cooling and avoid shrinkage so now we have a 10 commandment for hpdc dye lubricant users which we have to take care so these are the golden rules you can say to ensure the smooth operation and uh, optimal result in die casting processes. The first is quality of water. So hard water can be uh, full hair and uh, it leaves deposits on dyes and even promotes the growth of unwanted bacteria. So keeping on, uh, an eye on your water quality is a commanded number one. The second is dye temperature. Maintain the dye temperature below the wetting point if it is goes beyond that around uh, you can say 350 degrees centigrade the leaden force effect kicks in and your dye spray is repealed that means wasted of uh, lubrication and no film formation it's totally useless third point 
is solid in dye lubricants the type and percentage of solid in your dye lubricants matter they determine the water mix ratio and the time you need to spray for an effective film adjust according to manufacturer recommendation and your spraying habits and your uh, validation during trials the fourth is water mix ratio finding the right balance here is too high ratio gives a cooling but weakens the film making it prone to the soldering adjust based on the working habits and uh, uh, production uh, parameters fifth is uh, time of spraying timing is crucial over spraying cools the dye and uh, residual water can lead to the porosity issues and remember the thumb rule only thumb rule you can say is one second per hundred ton capacity of your machines one second of spray per hundred ton capacity of your high pressure die casting machines six point is spray angle consider the spray angle as a important uh, parameter of die lubrication so direct angle at a high pressure can uh, result in a splashback and lubricant wastage so adjust angles of uh, for uh, optimal optimum results seventh point is consisted of uh, dye lubes your dye lubricant should have a uh, wetting properties test them using the hot plate drop test it is like a crystal ball for uh, uh, forecasting the performance of your, your dye lube it's a very simple experiment experiment you can do on your shop floors you need just a plain uh, metal plate so eighth point is miscibility with the water make sure your dye lubricant play well with water easy miscibility ensure a consistent efficiency in dye release effect emulsion stability is a ninth point and uh, stable emulsion are your friend they can withstand the share of pumps unstable ones well they uh, they can uh, wreak ho voc especially in a machines farthest from uh, the central system tenth point is bactericide and uh, last but not least be aware of bacteria they back up uh, emulsion and disturb lubrication results use appropriate bactericide to keep them at bay so understanding the new sense in the dye lubrication is crucial for uh, achieving optimal results in the dye casting process these commandments and golden rules are your guide to achieving uh, optimal results in high pressure dye casting further feel free to share your comment experience in the comment and we'll try to cover your question answers in next videos so thank you very much keep learning till that